Yeah, sometimes I question my own sanity. For goodness sake, it's a squirrel. Okay, so how, here's how all this went down. So I was sitting there editing the last of our series, of our Blacktail series. If you haven't checked that out, check it out now. Um, it'll be, man, if I could leave a link into it, I'll leave a link up here. I was editing the last of the series and I'm like, oh man, now what? But what am I gonna do? Um, I, I still love to get out in this stuff. I mean, just look at this. You got I was looking at that that stuff that I was editing, all the raw footage, and I realized there was a squirrel in there. And so I thought, you know, that was a big squirrel. And I bet you he's tasty. So I uh, decided that, you know what? Squirrel season here in Oregon, in my part of Oregon, is um, a year-round thing. So picked up some flu flus from uh, Three Rivers Archery. You could check them out. I'll put the comments, I'll put them in the comment section, the ones I got. And uh, got some hammers, um, and I'll show you those later. And I'm gonna go after me some of those critters. Alright, another thing I want to point out is, is there's about 10 things to hunt right now that I can hunt legally. And we have uh, fall bear. I was going to say spring, but it's fall bear. And it, oh, there's a squirrel right there. We're going to shoot that squirrel. There's a squirrel already. <laughs> Bugger gave us a slip, but uh, I got a feeling he's up in that that big madrone up there. They kind of like those trees. I'm gonna go underneath it and uh, see if I can rile him up. Maybe he'll chirp at me like that other one did. I don't know. All you squirrel hunters, tell me, will he will he chirp at me like the other ones, or was that just a freak thing? Um, yeah. So uh, comment below and let me know, all you squirrel hunters out there. All right, so what was I saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my prey? Oh, that's right. So I have about 
10 different things I could hunt today. Yeah, it's a hard problem. It's hard living in Southern Oregon. Uh, so I could hunt turkeys. I could hunt a cougar. I could hunt squirrels. I could hunt a bear and I see if I can get a, I'm going into a place where there's a bear at. And so, well, that's not 10 things. Oh, and coyotes. And then we'll just add five coyotes to that. And then I got my 10. Let's, let's go take a look here. I'm going to go by my tree stand and um, get it packed up so I can grab it on the way out. And then we'll run in there where the bears are. And we'll run in there where the squirrels are. Bear, squirrel, you know, it's all good. Either or. Whoa! So here's the deal. I'm on this big flat, so I want to shoot one of the one of my flu flus. I want to shoot it with my hammerhead, 200 grain hammerhead, and a big old flu flu. Anyhow, I don't know if you can see it, but right there is a dot up there. I'm going to shoot at, but I want to see how far these things fly. So when I get up in the brush up here, and if I miss, um, I'll know kind of where my arrow's gone. I'll know the distance. So. When we're out here, it's a good place to start it. So let's give it a shot. Okay, guys, here's a little tip for you when you're shooting flu flus. These are like the scatter guns of the archery world. They're designed to slow down fast, so they're for close in range, small game, shooting in the air, those kind of things. But one thing that I like to do, because I'm going to be shooting in trees, is I want to know the range that I get on this thing. Now, I got a big old flu flu with a you know, bunch of feather back there and I have the hammer tip, the Three Rivers hammer tip and I'm shooting a 200 grain hammer tip with those big old arrows so I, I'm shooting a ton of FOC and it's not for penetration, it's because that FOC shoots really good. It's, it's like throwing darts, you know. Darts are always real heavy up front. Anyhow, if you guys could see up there, I'm going to shoot at that, there's a, a dot up there, I'm going to shoot at that dot and I just kind of want to know how far these things are going to go so that way I won't lose any arrows. Let's take a look. Better hold a little higher on the next one. Well, at least I'm consistent. Boy, these things are fun to shoot. Have you ever shot flu flus? You need to shoot them. Well, that's a good group. All right, we'll grab those and let's go up and get some of those. Uh, there might even be a bear in there. So let's go get that squirrel and see if there's a bear in there. <laughs> Four miles later, we finally got into where that squirrel was. And uh, we're right at the bottom of where he is. I really wish I had a bugle, a squirrel bugle. But uh, before I go in here, I better check the wind. And I, ah, crud. I don't know if you guys can see that on film or not. Here. But the wind's blowing right into him. So I think I'm going to back out and I'm going to come back around and circle and come back down in on him. I'll kind of come in upwind. We'll see. All right. I wish I had a squirrel bugle. 
I just start calling from here. I probably get him to rile up, and then that way I know exactly where to sneak in when I come in. I know you hardcore big game hunters are like, what is Nate doing out there wasting his time hunting squirrels? Well, for one, I'm always preaching about um, small game hunting will always make you a better big game hunter. So I'm going to come out here and show you that. Um, just because it's a squirrel doesn't mean it doesn't move and doesn't mean it's not alive. So it gives you that live animal. But here's some of the excuses I've heard of why people don't go out and shoot squirrels. Not enough meat is one of them. They don't taste good. They taste like pine. We gotta have squirrels in the woods. Here's the deal. All those excuses are just that, they're not real. Um, okay, so uh, we came around. I think we got the wind right now. Um, we're in, we're pretty much in that spot where that little guy was during deer season. Uh, we're just listening for him. Yeah, see we came in on him. So uh, I think we're going to uh, come in here and just see if we could roust him up a little bit. I wish I had a squirrel bugle. Okay, one thing I always want to do, I want to shoot it in that tree just to see if it's going to stick. So if I lose an arrow, I'll shoot it in this tree because I can climb up it and go get it. But uh, that's going to be a good test. Hey guys, so I told you I'd tell you a little bit about this setup. This is, uh, I got these from Three Rivers. They have them in stock. And this is the Beeman ICS. And this is 8.4 grains per inch. I'm shooting 28 inches here. And I have the hammer tip. And I've only ever seen these at Three Rivers. Um, and this is, I think it might even be their hammer tip. But if you look at it, you, it, it shoots really well, and especially for tree stuff. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but when I hit a tree, it does not stick into the tree. That's awesome. That's what you want when you're shooting at squirrels and things. Now, I got the 200 grain because I like high FOC. It just makes me a lot more accurate. Another thing about the high FOC is, you know, when I start shooting ducks with this arrow, I'm going to shoot ducks this year. When I start shooting ducks with this arrow, um, it has a little bit more shock power to it, so it carries a little bit more momentum. Um, again, these are the ICS Hunters. I'll put a link down in the description below so you could, if you guys want to get into this, I'm telling you, you want to extend your seasons, you want to get out here and do this. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, and like I, you know, I preach all the time, if you want to kill more big game, you need to get out here and hunt the small game. It's, it's, you know, it's, they're easier, of course, I understand that, but the thing is, is, they're still a moving target. They're still a moving animal. You got to know when to draw so they don't catch you. All of those things, you got to be able to stop them, wait for them to stop. You got to hold for a little bit. So if you, if you want to build your confidence, um, get out here, hunt squirrels, hunt grouse, hunt, uh, extend your season. Most, most states have something going on. Shoot a coyote. We're going to do a lot of that this year too. All right. Thanks for watching you guys. I'm going to hunt this out a little bit and, uh, Hopefully we'll get a little bear around the corner or a big bear or whatever and get into some squirrels. So I'm going to hunt this out a little bit.
we're heading our way out of here. No bears moved, so uh, we're going to get out of here and uh, come back at it another day. Alright guys, so uh, it's getting dark so I thought I'd wrap this thing up. We uh, got in there, we didn't. We only saw one squirrel today, one confirmed squirrel. squirrel. Heard one over uh, in some private ground. Um, I'm going to figure out a, a squirrel bugle <laughs> or squirrel call and uh, come in here and call him because he was calling over there on the other side and I think I could have, and then some piped up behind me. I couldn't get up to him, it was too, it was getting too late. but. Uh, if you guys uh, are enjoying this content, if you're enjoying what we're doing, please leave a like or and a subscribe and a comment below. It helps us with the algorithms with YouTube and uh, it helps get this out to more people. So we could really use your help guys. Um, we're trying to spread traditional bow hunting and all bear bow hunting, trying to spread that to people. I think it's a good quality thing. So please like that, go over our Instagram, follow us on Instagram and um, head over to the Facebook group. We only got like six guys, seven guys that uh, need to sign up. So go sign up for that and we'll give some stuff away. I'm going to head off to my Jeep. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, we will be back in here after those squirrels. All right, take it easy.